Like, you know, I'm thinking of doing tryouts this year, you know. I'm going trials. For what? Nah, for, for football, innit? Oh. Nah, because obviously I was fourth choice left back. Yeah, did you hear the number? Four. Fourth? Man, not even <laughs> top three. Due to unforeseen circumstances, man was obviously let go. The unforeseen the circumstances were that you was dead food. <laughs> you no, know it is. The circumstances were actually very <laughs> foreseen. That's the madness. <laughs> <laughs> nah, listen, basically, yeah, any clubs out there, you're looking for a left back. You know what it is? It's what I'm right footed, so I've got to be an inverted wing back. <laughs> You don't know the definition of cut inside, bro. You don't know what that means. Nah, listen, bro. I've got a Ronaldo chopping my locker. <laughs> show everyone. Yeah, show everyone. Show everyone. Is it, do you want to see it? Right now. Stand up. Stand up and do it right now. I, I'm stood up right now, yeah? Yeah, on do it right now. From left to right. Hang on. Goosh. Ah, yeah. Safe. Safe. That's a good Safe. <laughs> Dag and Redbridge, if you want to put us on trials, do you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't mind. Bonjour, comment ça va? Oui, oui, bon, bon, je t'aime et je lu. Gem. I'm, I beg your pardon. You know, I just said it, I said it in French. I was like, yo, what's up, guys? Unpopular opinions here. Back once again after a little time away. I'm joined by my uh, slightly dead foodedly trimmed friend. Jemington, Wolfie, in the building, in the place. Like and subscribe. That was the sentence, but in French. You did not say all of that in French. I refuse. Nah, I it's refuse. a bit of a condensed language. You get me? You know? <laughs> Whatever he said, I need to see it in the comments. But anyway, how's everyone doing? Back again after our extended season break that got extended again due to, I don't know, the Queen was 96, innit? Look, the Queen had an impact on us all. Most importantly, including in unpopular opinions. She was a big fan of the series, actually. I can't even lie. Yeah, I can't yeah, even. yeah, yes. Yeah, Trust. nah, she was there. She was there in the comments section. She was, yeah, she was up there. She was a real one. But yeah, they, they cancelled the football. I got a call from Susan at YouTube. She was like, listen, Niran, I know you wanted to slap out unpopular opinions this weekend, but we can't allow that to happen. Wait, do you actually know a Susan at YouTube? Uh, no, no, she's she's CEO of, of YouTube, innit? Oh, I knew that. Susan, if you're... I knew... Now you're, now you're getting your YouTube part. account terminated. No, you're, he's you're a partner. Hey, what, I'm, what he's trying to say is I'm partnered on Daily Motion. Shouts out to no, guys and partner. Vimeo. Do you want your channel deleted? You know what, honestly, if it, if it came down to it, I reckon I could fight 70% of employees at YouTube. So. Well, can I ask a question? What did you eat before we started recording? What did you eat? Would you say seven or eight? No, no, 70% of. Se so that's all. That's even worse. Over. You should have let me slide with the 70, seven or eight people. 70% <laughs> is outrageous. <laughs> Who do you think you are? At once, at once. Bare fists all over the place. Bare fist is insane. Saying ah, anyways, yeah. we need a pause counter. You need to add that in. Every time there's a pause, I'll slap that in. Pause. Pause. What do you usually say here? You usually say something like, we've put out a tweet, do you get it? Everyone's liked it. And then you've come in with your unpopular opinions. Me and my boy Jem, we're reacting to them. And if they're really bad, they're really, really the stinkiest of the smelliest of opinion. Jem, tell them where they go. You go to a place, yeah? Stinky doesn't even define the smell in, in the facilities, yeah? There's no Febreze there. There's no, no Febreze, there's no deodorant. It just smells like unwashed cheeks. Pause. <laughs> But yeah, you get sent to the gulag. Get me first class. Oh, there's my phone. That's very unprofessional of me. Did you hear that? No, that was the gulag. That was that the was gulag messaging gulag, saying yeah. we, can't, we can't accept any more gulag inhabitants, but we're here to tell you we don't care. <laughs> we're adding them anyway. You know what's mad as well? Queen hasn't even passed away in the gulag. They're yet to even hear that news. They've still got Vic Queen Victoria running the thing in there. It's all mad. You don't want to end up in there because there's very limited mobile data. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo would be a decent 74th minute sub in a mid-table team from the Gabonese 6th Division. <laughs> <laughs> Gabonese sixth division. I don't know, man. That might be a step too far. Maybe the seventh. Man tier. said, man really said sure. a so. step too far. Does Gabon even have the six tiers in its pyramid? Definitely not, bro. Do they even have a league? There's no way <laughs> there's non-league football going on in Gabon, fam. Sunday league is the championship. Xhaka has more potential than the whole Liverpool starting eleven. Let me repeat that. A man said that Xhaka has more potential than the entire starting eleven at Liverpool Football Professional Club. You know what? It is, apart from the outlandish, scandalous, like, sort of statement here. Ronit Xhaka is like 29 years of age. There's no potential to hit. He's there already. He's arrived at the, the destination. I disagree. If you're 29 and you've not hit your potential, you just have to grow up. No, Jamie Vardy didn't only start hitting his potential until like 30. Yeah, but he was playing against like bin men from flipping... <laughs> 
Somerset. And so he was like 26, bro. If you play Sunday League and then you join an actual professional team, you'll you'll be better. All right, so I have a debate one here, yeah. This is a serious one. Trent is having a good season. Don't know about that one. Let me start that again because I took myself away with that one. Hold on. Just do a whole rewind and welcome back. To <laughs> Yo, guys, welcome back to Unpopular Opinion. It says Trent is having a good season. Just being the scapegoat from rivals and the media as to why the team is playing bad. Okay, right. So I'm going to dissect this one. Statistically, investigatorially. Yeah. He's not having a good season. I can't lie to you, Jamie. I'm gonna tell you this one <laughs> facts. He's not. But I do hear the scapegoat thing because people love to hate Trent. There was a game week, right? I can't remember which one it was. It might have been United. But at the, the same weekend, Reese James got spun by Leeds by like Brendan Aronson. He only just got here. He calls it soccer when he goes home to his family on the weekends. It's all crazy. <laughs> He's like the LeBron James of soccer. Carl Walker got spawned for Man City against Newcastle. Absolutely finished, right? The only person you heard about was Trent Alexander-Arnold. It was long. Pause. Ah. Man, man, you can't end off a sentence just saying it was long. Nah, but what if it was, though? That's the whole... <laughs> Pardon? Oh my! End the video right now. End the video. I feel like I have to do this every single episode. End the video right now. <laughs> but it was, fam. <laughs> But it's fine. This is a safe space for yeah. you. Chase your dreams, innit? Just whatever it is in life, do the madness. Unless it's a bad madness, actually. That's a, that's a, that new motto. If Jem would do it, you should do no, it. No, leave me out of it. I am the side pigeon that can't get no food. <laughs> I'm ignoring my business. Nine, nine, 91. There's a lot of nines in your name. The queen would have scored more goals than Salah has this season. <laughs> I'm not here for MI5, don't come for me. Pause again. You know what? I think that's treason somewhere on the lines, you know. That's actually mad. I've just got a vision of the queen in the dress doing a step over, cutting in on her right foot. Uh, you know what? Honestly, yeah. A 96 year old would still have better ankles than Tiago Alcantara and Navi Keita as well. If there's any old age pensioners that still feel like kicking it, then jump in our centre mid. Yeah. Our, our, our door is not gonna... Uh, say, say, say that again. Our, our, our door. Was it necessary? We were saying this before we started recording, yeah. You can't have a plain name, be Brazilian and just remix the pronunciation and think that it's okay. It's just Arthur. Arthur. That's too much. <laughs> Nah, next question. Kurt Zoom. Listen, I'm not involved in this tweet, by the way. I'm already not involved. I'm already <laughs> out of there. <laughs> if Kurt Zoom was involved, I'm not present. Kurt Zuma <laughs> via his cat boxing match live on Sky Sports main event <laughs> will be better all-round entertainment than any Liverpool game this year. Man said main event as well. <laughs> it's not even box office. It's just there for everybody to see. Why are Liverpool getting attacked? I mean, you lot are dead food right now. Nah, we are finished, didn't we? We scored all our goals for the season against Bournemouth, man. We saw Scott Parker wear that cardigan that's got the stripes on the sleeve, on one sleeve, and was like, nah, this can't run. If other managers wore crazy outfits, we beat them, thousand percent. So your your win record relies on the manager's drip. Thousand percent. If, if a guy comes... Pause. <laughs> <laughs> So if you see Graham Potter rock up in an unmatching Chelsea tracksuit, Liverpool have won. If he arrives in a super dry jacket, he, he's finished. Man says super dry. <laughs> <laughs> he's not doping. You are doping with with this. Eddie and Ketia will be better than Thierry Henry ever was. You see you, yeah? Like, you see you people. You deserve to be permanently banned <laughs> from watching football. Like, I don't want... Ah. Your eyes do not deserve to even be... Like, there should be a, a tag on your ankle that bleeps every time you're involved with football, <laughs> anything to do with the sport. Yeah, nah, that's magic. You can't go back from that. That's a life sentence in the gulag. Gulag. That's absolutely outrageous. You don't got another one that's just as crazy as well. <laughs> Killing Mbappe is literally Sadio Berahino with a pace boost in FIFA. <laughs> and he spelled it Berahino. <laughs> No way. I've not That's heard that bad. name in ages. Tony Pulis did not rate him at all. Got one here from Barney, double L. You're taking L's with this one, I can't lie. Bournemouth will stay up. Is that it? Yes, yeah, it. That's it. Do like <laughs> Your team is like the amateur setting in the Premier League. Over which team? The only other team that's looking a bit risque right now is Leicester. Who else in the league is getting beaten 9 0? Apart from Southampton on one random day in February. I'm not Scott Parker, do you know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, I would, there would have been RKOs through table. There would have been DDTs off car bonnets. You no, know it is though. Can't complain because the cardigan was crazy. Like, at the very least, that was a sackable offense. Like, if he's wearing that cardigan going back in, you're sacked again. They'll hire you to sack you again for a second time. Darwin Nunes is just the Tesco version of Andy Carroll. 
<laughs> Why and did he, he have to headbutt someone <laughs> straight away? Man added at the end of the tweet, he's even got the ponytail. So erratic, like everything just looks like it's just dramatic. Like in the moment, like he's yeah, not yeah. planned anything. He's just <laughs> got there and just decided as he's arrived. Darwin, you're gonna come good. No, no. Nah, oh my. Nah, the headphones are off, the headphones are off. The, nah, actually, nah, yeah, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Goosh, I've done a Ronaldo chop to distract the audience from what has actually just happened. Steven Gerrard isn't that bad for Aston Villa. He just needs a little more time to show his true potential. Big man. This, no, let me rant quickly here yeah, because I said that Aston Villa would finish in the bottom half of the table. And when I put this tweet up, everybody laughed at me. You all laughed at me. What I have to say is they're not laughing now, are you? And they've got a good team. They look like they had a good window as well. I was like, yeah. They signed, you know when, when a team signs a man in May? The season hasn't even finished yet. They've already signed like a good player it's like wow these are organized ahead of the game it's half time fa cup aston villa are signed like diego carlos pep guardiola isn't as great as he's made out to be he inherited a great team at barcelona and his style works with xavi and iniesta he may be the most consistent coach but Mourinho has been able to bring clubs from nothing to winning trophy besides spurs this argument will transcend forever football it will, it will go on till the end of time what it is right he's a good he's he's such a good coach he's an amazing man manager of a coach yeah and he's really good at extracting the most out of players, I think. Obviously, he does always have that head start of having just money to throw at everything and like everyone and we've never seen him have a team that's not been that good and then like build it up but i do think he would do an okay job at it because he does he's he's so good at buying a player and then making them better than they should be other than jack grealish okay jack grealish i hear that that's <laughs> that's pending in it that he's he's on the way he's not on the way downloading the software you know what it is with jack grealish right i he seems like such a g when you don't know what an encyclopedia is yet you might not be taking it in oh, wow. you might need like a translator like a birmingham translator Translator, because he's an amazing footballer. I just don't know if he's taking it in. I don't think he's yet. Yeah, it's not. Pause. 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 That was crazy. That was mad. Oh. Klopp is starting James Milner because Liverpool don't have the money to pay for his retirement. <laughs> Can't pay for his bus pass. He's finished. He's got he's got the stamina still, but he's just he's not there. mobile. He's up there. He's up there. He's got a bleep test in his back pocket. He's there. But turning, no, nah, impossible. That fridge turn. <laughs> Like trying to move a bed. <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> if I'm honestly, if I don't see James Milner on BT Sport in the next 12 months, I'm gonna be fuming. I'm gonna be fuming. He needs to be doing analysis with Owen Hargreaves on BT Sport 3 standard definition. <laughs> Villa <laughs> Villarreal be sporting Lisbon on a Thursday night. I don't care. Half a trillion Zim dollars. I love this guy. I know what your reaction's gonna be. Jordan Zamora will finish this season with at least 10 goals and assists and will get poached by a bigger club. Anyways. Who is that? Who, who is, is my that? man? Who, who invited my man who, to this who? episode, bro? It's probably him. He's probably just promoting <laughs> himself. <laughs> Probably just like, yeah, this is my chance to get my sign. First <laughs> player for like Northwest Harlow Football Club in like the 11th <laughs> division is like, yeah. I'm going to be up there. I'm going to be better than Salah. No. Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't make it into the Exeter team over Jay Stansfield. I don't know who this is. Sam Noby or Giovanni Brown. Would be a good backup signing if we got him though. You know when a man has a name like Giovanni and then his second name is Brown? That is absolutely nuts, bro. They used all the creativity in the first name. It was just like, ah. Imagine being called Giancarlo Smith. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a violation. Cristiano, I wouldn't have that. If it was me, I'd buy the whole club. I'd buy the whole club and put it into liquidation because of what Basically. that man just said. Yeah. Just because of what he said. Joseph because three. That doesn't make any sense. No, grammatically make any sense. for a start. Selling Timo Werner was Chelsea's biggest mistake among many in recent years. As an individual player, he was far from stunning, but we always balled as a team whenever he played. Do that. <laughs> anyway, next, next, <laughs> next week. <laughs> He's going back to the Bundesliga and he's sourcing it up in it. But I don't, I think Chelsea right now are just a mess completely. Like everything to do with the football club is just, Chaotic. Do you understand how fucked these lot are? They're done! The owner of the club thinks you've got 13 players on the pitch. Done. Finish. Do you know how this man basically said, bun your tactic, bun football's laws and rules, yeah? Just add a 13th player to the team and run with what we're saying. Trent is only playing bad because he's pressed. He got rejected by Will and his girl. Oh, uh, long day, long day. That's a long day. End of the video, end of the video. Okay, go, 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 go. End of the video. Is that the time, yo? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Another unpopular opinion. 
opinions in the book in the unpopular opinions novel collection database gallery sticker book by panini what about match attacks what match about attacks folder it's it's in there it's locked away okay that has been a bit of a wild one some more gulaggeries are in there and no toilets that flush there's no yeah there's no toilets that flush there's there's no there's no sanitation in the gulag it's you the wall and your stupid opinion <laughs> personally after this episode if i was fng i wouldn't have it in it because my team got bullied he already said he could swing for for seventy percent of the YouTube staff as well. We do remember that as well. Make sure you write I'm up that down. I'm Seventy five percent. Anyone right. can get it at YouTube. Pause. Can can. Pa oh feel my. It. Can, no pause. Oh, can, oh. can get that. Stop. Hit. No, no stop. Stop. That's also stop. Mad. stop. Stop. Stop.